guys how are you doing if you're new here it's margarita a content creator from nanyuki kenya and i went to the market yesterday and after the market i passed through a local store called kogeria store and i got some few things that we needed and yes i want to unbox with you like what i got for my shopping and then i will clean and organize uh, groceries with you and things are very 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 costly nowadays hey, i don't know where this economy will take us this uh this time but hey, things are very very costly nowadays so I got cooking oil. This is what we use. Fresh fry, three liters. Sugar. I got four kgs. Four kgs of sugar. Here we use dollar, so I got dollar. Six kgs. We use laha, we use laha, kafagara, kenji, got myself big powder. I got lies. They have so many types of basmati lies. So we got five kgs. This will take us for a while. Got myself some spices. Garlic powder, pillow masala, ginger, paprika, turmeric, got some tomato paste for pillow. Got some t-shirts. I got kitchen towels from the same store. And I say, if you're in Yuki, I say the store is called Kogeria store. And it's just near New Market or behind Sidamo. That's where the shop is. I got myself some stillware. Yes, yeah, I have some. I still have some cooking pots that I use. This cream film.
for my washroom. And this is what we use for our toilet. Babumbu. Freshener. To bathing soap. Calcate. Downy. Uh, we usually use um, Star Soft, but I, I decided to try this. Downy. I've seen a lot of people using this, and I, I was like, why not? Let me try this and see how it smells. I don't know how it smells. Mm. Not bad. It smells wonderful. Wow. So then I will use this for my clothes and see how it goes. Some make powder. Washing powder. I got tomato sauce. And I got soy, soy sauce. I wouldn't think that I'll get soy sauce in that store, <laughs> but luckily they had it, and so I picked this. So, soy sauce. So that is that is all from the store, from the Kogelia store, that is what I got. And we also passed through Chien supermarket and we got ourselves uh, uh, smokies for my kids for breakfast. And then I also bought some meat. So, Save some smokies. New, uh, like meat shop near when you pass through the from the the Kabarabara that goes from Standard Bank, going to a uh, KCB Bank, the Commercial Bank. There is a new shop that opened there for this. They are selling meat, and by the way, they are selling the fresh meat. We've bought our meat several times. We bought our meat there. And they are called Lolo Daiga. Lolo Daiga Premium Meat. I, I am loving their meat, all type of meat. We've bought goat meat, beef, even minced meat, and their places are affordable. So one thing I loved about them is their packaging. I really, really loved their packaging. Look at this. Look at this guy. So, we got goat meat. We got a minced meat. We also got beef. And look at this. They have very nice customer care. So you buy meat, they put some dania, some coriander, coriander ribs. So I got that. And goat meat. So this one I gonna cut them into small pieces and Keep them in the freezer. Lorodaiga premium meat. Lorodaiga premium. Try them, guys. Try them. I tell you, you are not going to be disappointed. Just try them.
that is it guys for the shopping so let's go to the grocery so let's do the grocery i want to clean them and organize with you guys so we'll start with i got tomatoes tomatoes 2 kgs I got domas I got kwashe is a sweet potatoes and for those who are watching me away from away from Kenya these are called arrowroot I got myself some potatoes I got capsicum the red ones and the green ones this will take us for a while and especially the green ones for the red ones we use these ones when we are making our um, homemade pizza because we make a lot of pizza in this house got some coriander leaves dania carrots french beans french beans This was a whole kg. I got spring onions. Spring onions. Rosemary leaves. We use this one when we are making our tea because we love, love tea in this house so we make we use these ones for to make tea got onions two pages and garlic and this two uh, two kienyeji two for the normal one this are kienyeji one these are very very good when you are making pilau I got ginger I got green peas, green peas, two cages. I got low bananas, low bananas. I got 10 of this, some for our yetheri, some we want to boil, we love boiled maize here, they are very very good, especially for breakfast, so 
got several this I got 10 of this I also got some cereals this one got some cereals in the market Kamande and some more beans. This is Kamande. More beans. And I don't know why Kamande is. It's he. I don't know. The cost of Kamande nowadays. I don't know if it's the same in your own town because Kamande was going for uh, a kg at a 400 shillings. This for me was way, way too much. This. One kg, 400 sheets. So I got half. Got half. And then I got some fruits. Got bananas. Got some mangoes. This big. They are in the market now, the apple mangoes. So I got several of these. It's too heavy. We got watermelon. Is what I got in the market, so I want to clean with you guys and also organize with you. Uh, I think I will also do some fridge organization. That is hoping that this video won't be too long for you guys. So let's do the cleaning, let them dry, and then organize with you guys. I'm using vanilla to cream my fruits.
Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I I'm done with cleaning glossaries and now I want to clean this gap cabinet and I, I'm starting by removing all the containers, empty them and clean them before I do the refill. I'm using scalding powder to clean my cabinet. Yes, because this is the place that I put my cooking oil and it tends to be very greasy. And scalding powder is very good with greasy surfaces. As I clean the cabinet, my daughters are helping me to empty the containers. I clean them so that we can do the refill on clean containers.
Now I want to clean uh, my fridge. It's been a while since I cleaned like I did a deep clean on this fridge. Yes, we do clean like just cleaning the the fridge the the fridge part and not the freezer part. We've been just removing like particles and not like deep cleaning. I know it's advisable to clean a fridge uh, every three to four months. That is a deep clean. And this being the beginning of the year, I feel it's the best, best time for me to do a, a, a deep clean. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm starting by removing all the food stuff uh, in the freezer part. And it's very easy for me to do that. Yes, because I switched off the fridge. Uh, I plugged off the fridge uh, five hours ago. Yes, because I knew I gonna clean the fridge. And it's very easy for me because the ice is already melted away. And this makes my work very, very easy to remove the foodstuffs inside and also uh, as I clean. So when you are doing a deep freeze, when you are doing a deep cleaning of uh, your freezer, the freezer part, it's always advisable to plug off uh, uh, some hours before you do the cleaning and that will make your work a bit easier. As I clean the fridge, my daughters are also helping me to clean the crisper drawer and the compartments of the fridge. And I feel so good and happy to, to have them around. Yes, these are young girls and soon young mothers. And I love, I love working together with them and showing them how to do work and how to be ready, yes, because soon they will be doing in their own houses. So I always um, like working together with them. I like, I love when they are allowed me and when we are working together as a team because they learn a lot. 
they learn how to work as a team they learn how to to do home chores they also learn how to relate uh, together to relate with me i also learn from them some of the things i learn from them so we complement each other The results are amazing. I mean, look at it. Sparkling clean. Can't be. This is the fridge. I have stayed with it for more than a decade. <laughs> yes, it's 14 years old. And it looks so amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. I am. I feel so happy. I feel so happy that I have managed to clean my fridge. I mean, who doesn't like a clean space, a fridge, a clean kitchen, clean cabinet? We all, yes, we all do. The only thing that I feel so bad is this, this video is too long it, and I won't be able to do the organization. So I've decided to do part one, which will be cleaning and then fridge organization will come part two so uh guys stay tuned for part two it will be here before you know it and thank you for watching thank you for being here thank you for always coming back to watch my videos uh, may god bless you so much uh, share like and subscribe thank you